This sign indicates children in the area go 30 kilometers an hour. I don't know what Zach thinks, but uh, I'm getting sick and tired of Sabbaths outside while homeless, and I really can't wait for this winter. We've got a lot to think about. There's a slight chance that um, this mission might be uh, changed with direction, but we'll figure that out when it happens. Zach, what do you say about the Sabbath that we had today? Oh, today was uh, not the greatest, but I mean, it goes. What's this? A million dollar bill with a bunch of coins on top. Hopefully uh, whoever's needing some spare change in the morning for a bus or whatever finds that and, and reads it. When finding a spot, it's good to look for buildings that are closed on certain days. This place here is a uh, hearing uh, place. What? And uh, it's closed, <laughs> Zach's being a joker. It's closed Saturday and Sunday. This place here in the center is uh, also closed on Sunday, uh, not on Saturday, it's some sort of other business, I don't know what it is. Anyways, so both of these are here, because today's tomorrow Sunday, would be great. Uh, but with the security that comes around, we might get in trouble. But over here is a dumpster um, area, which I looked at, it looks very clean. Sadly, it's dark, so you can't see it very well. But right behind this little thing here, there you go is a nice grassy area where you can sit up and this is what it looked like looks like in the daylight uh, obviously we survived the night here no hooligans came up and killed us you no know, cougars came by and wooed us instead we're alive to tell another tale so, food on the trail. Uh, everywhere is different um, because certain circumstances, but the staple is instant mashed potatoes, uh, either cliff bars or um, trail mix of some sort, and then there's a lot of Mr. Noodles. Uh, I try to get these though. They're um, a lot healthier, and these ones don't have MSG, though it has yeast extract, which is very similar, but still uh, probably a little bit healthier for you. Um, some super cool spicy sort of um, mixed bag of stuff. This is uh, dry falafel mix which you add to water, uh, tortilla wraps, crackers to snack on. You gotta get your sweets in there with some chocolate hazelnut and uh, peanut butter for the wraps. Chickpeas for the protein. And uh, I like corn and peas. Cans are very heavy, but you know what? It's worth it sometimes. Um, also, this is good uh, with the chickpeas. Maybe some Mr. Noodles. Uh, Cobain, nice new paw boots you got there. Look at those socks. Come here. <laughs> You're flashy. And for today's food creation, it's a hobo Indian meal. We got this, um, I won't even try to pronounce that. Mix in here with chickpeas, corn, and peas. We got uh, two portions here. <laughs> well, well, one of the nicest things about uh, churches is that they're generally pretty uh, generous. So we just went up and asked if we could camp out in the uh, soccer field here on their church property, and they're letting us, which is wonderful. Um, so thank you so much to this fantastic church on the edge of Prince George. Uh, oh, yeah, going to be a good night. Well, we woke up to a blessing this morning. The pastor came by. It's not even Sunday. It's a Tuesday. He brought us some banana bread and cookies. We are at the start of what I consider to be the northern British Columbia area. We're leaving Prince George and heading to Vanderhoof. And our intentions are in a town not too much further than that. We have about 350 kilometers left to walk of this trip before we settle down. I'm excited. Zach's looking excited and ready. And Colvain, she's determined. This morning we woke up and a lady came by and she's like, you want some food? I'm like, is there no uh, bacon or, co or pork in there? She's like, nope. And I'm like, wow, that's awesome. So she gives us some uh, eggs and uh, homemade uh, sourdough bread. And uh, 
And then Zach says what we're doing to her, and she tells us that's amazing because she felt like God told her to come and bring us this food, which was a fascinating experience. Well, we've been invited to this guy's place down the road here. He's a fifth wheel, he says. But we can stay at for as long as we want. Uh, we spoke to him briefly about uh, Yeshua and his obedience level. He wasn't opposed to the message of Jesus, uh, but he doesn't seem like he's uh, given his life to it either. So, it's an opportunity to witness, re get some supplies, and see what Yehovah has in store for us. Well, we were invited on Al's property. He lives this way, on the next uh, property line. He rents this out, but right now there's no tenant. So we're going to be staying in his fifth wheel, at least for the night. It's only 5 o'clock, and quite honestly, we planned walking a lot further than this. But you know what? It was an invitation, and we felt like we'd show him some kindness. Um, some stuff that he actually could uh, use our help with. So here we are. Spending our day here. Well, Al has done it again. He's brought some scrambled eggs for us. And oddly enough, he had the sausages that he brought over in a bag that was separate. And he didn't even know that we kept the dietary laws. So I felt like maybe God placed that in his heart to separate them so that we didn't have uh, contaminated eggs. encountering an issue this is snapping all right let's find out if you're walking across Canada it's probably good not to get an aluminum stroller well this isn't gonna work Travis uh, for giving us a ride. It's a little disappointing that we had to get a ride, but there's no way that we were gonna push that cart today and probably would have took all day tomorrow as well. Um, we're done. We're done for the year. We're gonna go and um, try to get an apartment uh, within the next couple weeks. And uh, you know, more videos coming this winter and enjoy the rest of the episode. I find it fascinating that uh, an alleged assembly of God has a uh, homosexual pride rainbow on their main entrance but yes everyone is welcome here but it's not uh stay as you are it's come as you are you may notice it says reconciliation begins with us that's a little strange because i'm pretty sure the bible says it begins with jesus we got this new stroller and it's uh looking pretty good well this is the cart with everything in it Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 we can settle down.
I got a ton of these wasps hanging out in my tent while well, they're in between. Okay! <laughs> Go! everything in your tent, man! And we finally got a house. You know, it is fantastic. This is the most grateful I think I can ever be for having a place of my own. <laughs> Are you still filming? <laughs> I messed up. Cobain is receiving her bath. She doesn't like that.